Hello and welcome to MIP TV. And with me is the reviewer of literature himself, Mr. Bob Cook. How are you doing, Bob? I'm doing very well, Robert. And we've got a bit of an interesting book to review today. Mm. Intro to TA by Bill or William, depending on how well you know him, F. <laughs> Cornell. And uh, just at the preamble, you were telling me that this book really talks about TA in a slightly different way. And I wonder what your view of, view of it is, Bob. Okay, it's one of the most modern books in TA. came out six or seven months ago, late end of 2016. So right up to date. Edited by Bill Canal and some well-known European TA people. Okay, he, he called it Intro to TA um, because really it's an introduction to TA in the clinical field, but as well as the clinical field, the organisational field, the educational field, and the counselling field. So he talks about how TA is used within education establishments, within organisations, and within counselling specifically in America. How interesting. And so it sounds to me like this is a book that maybe people who are studying TA or a TA therapist may be interested in, but also it sounds like other disciplines, education, organisations, I'm thinking of management, may be oh. interested in looking at it because it applies TA to different circumstances and different situations other than therapy? Yeah, so let's take the educational field, which is about 5% of the membership of the TA community in the UK, but abroad... Uh, much more. So the sort of things we'll be talking about here is how to use parent, adult, child, the personality model uh, within the school and specifically for the staff, of course. Um, uh, subjects like strokes, behavioural reinforcement, games, rackets, the major principles and how to see how they're played out and utilised within an educational setting. In the United K Kingdom, I think the person well known for bringing TA into education is Giles Barrow, who has just brought out a book, in fact, called Transactional Analysis and Education. So he's taken the concepts into the school, the staff, the headmaster's room, and how we can utilise um, these uh, concepts for change and action. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? It just goes to show how TA has got such a a wide reach you know a lot of people think ta just in therapy but mm. what, what i'm hearing you say bob is that it could be used in different circumstances yeah. and in fact mm. someone's written a book about about education so how would it be used how do you think it'd be used in education you talked about the staff room and working with colleagues how do you think it might apply in education well if you go onto the teachers channel on youtube um there's a marvelous video clip for about 25 minutes of a school in Bradford where they use TA concepts exclusively, especially in the terms of strokes, positive strokes, how we can use positive strokes in behavioural reinforcement and can get children to actually understand the concepts of negative and positive um, processes in education. That's one aspect. Then you've got the aspect of contracts, for example, in education. Uh, you've got the concepts of behavioural repetitive patterns in education. So there's many different ways. I like the idea of um, the parent adult child model particularly. So for example, what internalised parent do the children operate from? And what are they, what parent are they projecting onto the teachers, the staff, people uh, and other kids, for example? Yeah, it, it, it is really interesting. And I, I, I would imagine in education, it's a, it, the whole school would have to buy into this, so it just wouldn't be the children. It would no, be, no, no. be the staff, and, and to some extent, I would imagine, it would have to be taught to parents, maybe. Yeah, and also the idea of empathy. The mm. idea of empathy is really explored in this YouTube uh, video. And uh, you're right, TA to parents, TA to the staff room, TA to the kids, and helping... Um, I mean, the kids really understand the idea of child ego state, the free part of the ego state, spontane you know, spontaneity, letting the child out, and the idea of the adapted child rebelling or complying to a uh, projection of the parent or the internal internalised parent. So, so it's a really interesting mix, and kids particularly like the idea of PAC. 
Yeah, it's well, it's it's such an elegant theory, isn't it? And I would imagine easily grasped by by a young person that I can mm. understand its appeal. So the book's called Intro to TA. It's by William yeah. F. Cornell or Bill, if okay. you if you know yeah, him. They also talk about organisations, right? So, for example, how you use TA concept in organisations. So, for example, the culture of one organisation may be parent led. Mm. The the culture of another organisation might be child led, and the organisation culture of another process might be adult led. Mm. And how you operate. Uh, within these different organisations, according to different cultures, is really interesting. Yeah, I suppose it's a link into things like management styles and yeah. leadership styles and that type yeah. of thing. I know yeah. that um, I, I, when, when I was in education, I was invited to teach a little bit of TA on uh, management training courses for ILM, Institute mm -hmm. of Leader and Management. And it was really interesting, you know, explaining the parent-adult-child model to people who are going to be managerial professionals. Yeah. Because, you know, That's it's uh, coming from the adult ego state. So important, isn't it, when you're doing a, doing any kind of management work? Really essential. And Julie Hay wrote a wonderful book about TA. It was called TA for Managers. Oh, right. Yeah. And uh, there's quite a few books really written in the organisational world. Um, this one, as I said, is looking specifically how you use the concepts of PAC in the organisational structure, not only for the culture, but for the managers, like you've just said. Mm. So really important. Mm. So it covers education, therapy, and also um, man managerial and counselling. What's the, what's the counselling aspect, Bob? How does it differ from maybe psychotherapy? Well, in the, in, when you talk about counselling, it's far more popular a term in Europe. So um, we have a, quite a big TA counselling sector in Europe. Uh, the difference is, Psychotherapy is really going back to somebody's history, making the connections between the past and the present. But counselling is using TA in the here and now and how to manage feelings and how to manage different processes using TA concepts. Yeah, so it, it sounds to me like um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little small toolbox maybe that could be taught to a client to be able to get them to manage their own behaviour and their own transactions with others. Fab. Completely right. So it's quite a large book. It's over 600 pages covering different fields, but it's a very good, con you know, real compact, concise um, introduction of TA into the different fields. Well, it sounds like a fabulous read, Bob. Um, as always, we Bob isn't getting paid for this. This isn't a paid promotion. This is Bob uh -huh. just sharing his love of uh, love of literature. We'll put a link in the links bar below to the video yeah. that Bob discussed, and also a link to the book. And at the end, we'll um, show a picture of the book and the name of it. So okay. if, it, if this review's tittled anybody's fancy, they can go and investigate it and uh, maybe get the book for themselves. So it's yeah, book in... number 14, were we? Book number 14. 14. We, we, as I said in the last one, we're going to pace, Bob. Intro yeah, to TA, yeah. William or Bill, depending if you know him or not, F. Cornell. <laughs> and uh, as always, Bob, thank you very much. Thank you.